the gift of Tito Ortiz just keeps on giving. So there's something that the kids call Instagram. Now, Instagram is largely a photo-based social media outlet. You can include text, but if you don't include a photo or a video, in large part, you're misusing Instagram. You should just take that over to Twitter. Okay, fine. Now, Tito puts out a picture, and it's a side-by-side. Mike Tyson, Tito on the other side. Tito, shirtless, flexing his abs. Caption, legend versus legend. Let's do this on pay-per-view, exclamation point. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Anybody of any age, but particularly a grown-ass 44-year-old man that goes on to Instagram shirtless while flexing his abs is a little bit of a dork, for one. Start with that. Now let's move down to the text. Legend versus legend. So I'm looking at Iron Mike and going, okay, well, that's one legend, but the versus part, I'm a little bit confused because the only other guy in the phone is Tito. So it's like, well, Tito, who are you bringing? Are you bringing Tank Abbott along? Are you bringing Randy Couture? Are you bringing King Arthur? Are you bringing Batman? Like, who is coming that is the other legend to take him on? Oh, and by the way, Tito, your final text said, let's do it on pay-per-view exclamation point. Do I need to be the one to inform you that pay-per-view no longer exists? Pay-per-view nowhere in the world is a thing anymore. It is all done through digital platforms. Even if they have a paywall that they will call pay-per-view, it is not the same thing that you referred to, which is the pay-per-view that you used to be on back in 2006. The world is just in a different place. Calling out Mike Tyson on pay-per-view is one step away from saying, let's put this on VHS and rent it out to the world of Blockbuster. It's two steps away from saying me and Iron Mike are going to go do something and uh, follow along on a transistor radio. It's very antiquated, and the fact that you didn't know that makes you a doofus, but you also didn't say what it was you were going to do. You just said, let's do it. So before the big reveal that Of course, you want this to be an MMA match, but Iron Mike only does boxing, and then you have this back and forth, and that becomes your way out of it. Before we even get into that, it would have been incumbent upon you to say what it is you want to do. Marketing 101, Tito. Identify yourself before your enemies do it for you. You gave me an easy door. You gave me an easy door to come and walk all over you. I couldn't even make this piece right now if you had the sense that God gave geese to come out and say, what rules were you and Mike going to contest? Are you guys arm wrestling? Are you in a bake-off? Are we doing thumb wrestling? What exactly is going to happen here? You may be looking at this right now and going, no, chill, I've got the car. I will, I'll go out and box him. That's what I meant to say. Maybe you did, but you didn't say it. <laughs> You didn't say it, which allows me to come out and piss all over your idea. Why wouldn't you say what you wanted to do? By the way, I don't believe you that, oh, I I was going to box him full well. I don't believe you. Think if you were going to box him, you would have said it. I think you're rewriting your intent because I'm calling you on it. I think that you thought that you were going to be the one guy to lure 53-year-old Mike Tyson into a sport that he's never done before called MMA which was never going to happen, but seems like something that you would still bring to the table at some point because you're not very smart. 